Thankfully, I didn't do any singing. Wow! Ooh. We on a beach? Oh, those, this cacti can groove. Look at him jam. Yeah, spoiler. The serpent, the serpent is capable of uh, locomotion. <laughs> I'm digging this. It, um... What is it reminding me of? on the tip of my tongue. I'm trying to think of like something like very like it definitely is getting like a really groovy deserty kind of song. But I'm trying to remember what games I've played that have also been in sort of a desert that like this is reminding me of. And the only thing I can think of is um I think the Mega Man Zero game had like a desert area. But it has been so long since I played that. Um, I don't really, I'm not really sure if there was like a desert desert area and whether it had a bop like this. Well, this sure is a change of scenery. Yeah, I'll say. Has this place always been like this? Or is this more of Javis's hand fever? Actually. I heard stories about a floating island somewhere near the Sapphire Islands. This might be it. You guys seriously haven't heard of this place? Haven't you lived in Green Ridge, like, your whole lives? Pretty sure I'd remember if I knew there was a giant desert island in the sky near my hometown, Claire. Get out. Okay, but we took a medium-range teleporter to get here. We couldn't have gone that far. And why can't we see the ocean below us? I don't know. I guess that's another mystery for us to investigate while we look for Jody. Well, I don't see Jody anywhere. If she's not here, let's go back to Amber Woods. Wasn't that place nice? Okay, I know this is a lot, Mel, but listen. I was Jabba's, and I wanted to hide from us. This floating island we didn't even know existed could be a pretty smart place to hide. Don't you think? That's a good point. Okay, let's do this for Jody. And <laughs> the Bulba roll. <laughs> I was just trying to get the Bulba emotes, um, because there's a server, there's like a, a server with a bunch of Bulba typed emotes. And, uh, I just kind of wanted the cute Bulba one, and then I saw the Bulba roll, I'm like, oh. Oh, well, I'm adding this, too. How can I not? I'm really sad that I can't talk to any of these dancing cacti. I feel like it's a wasted opportunity. Speaking of Mega Man, uh, I believe the Mega Man Battle Network anniversary hits, goes live on Steam on the 14th. So, um, as soon as my one of my game slots is freed up, that's, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm gonna I'm gonna be going Mega Man one all the way through six. That that's gonna be a permanent fixture. Tumbleweed Mage and Funky Artifact. All right, uh, tumbleweeds are already demonic. Someone taught this one magic. This is very dangerous. We cannot let it spread. It must be eliminated immediately. I don't know how much. Holy shit! That thing has a lot of health. Or it's resistant to physical. Probably just phys resistant to physical. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing like 100% clears of Mega Man Battle Networks. Um, it has been a very long time since I played them. And I believe there are some things that get really grindy. Which may not be very fun. I recall there's like... For some, for some chips, 
there's like some really weird stuff. Like you have to go to a specific area and walk to a specific corner to trigger a battle. And then there's ones where it's like anywhere in this area has like a 1% chance of finding this person. And then when you beat them, you have an X percent chance of getting their chip. One thing I'm also wondering is if the... I believe I read that it doesn't have crossplay, but I wonder if you can still do, like, trading and multiplayer, like if two people bought it on Steam? Because if so... Um, I never had anyone to trade or battle with um, when I was growing up and I played them. And I think it'd be kind of interesting to try out that feature. Because I... I imagine you can... I believe you can trade chips? And since there's two versions, like, obviously there's the, you know, some things are only available in one and not the other fucking FOMO exclusivity kind of bullshit, which... I don't like it. I'm not a fan that that's a thing. I'm not a fan it's stuck around being a thing, but it's not like I can do anything about it. I maybe wouldn't mind it more if the two games were much more distinctly different. Like, imagine, imagine, imagine a Pokemon game where you have the two versions. One of them, you're playing as the villains, the definitely not top Team Rocket recolors, and the other one as the heroes, the stop Team Rocket. And so you have completely different campaigns sort of thing. So like the Team Rocket people are going through and conquering um, the gyms, or like their gym stand-in is, um, you know, whatever whatever the professor's roles are, like basically ransacking their places and beating the professors to advance. And then, you know, you have your normal beating the gyms sort of-esque thing for the heroes. Super Fighting Robot. It just likes like one of those... Uh, I don't know if any of y'all ever had them. They're like uh, back massager kind of things. They're like little wooden spheres, and they have like really long legs with other wooden spheres. The idea is like, you know, you just kind of rub it over the back and shoulders as like a sort of massage aid. That's what those things are reminding me of. God, I didn't... I could use something like that. Ugh. Or just some way to... my own back. I probably should get a try and see if I can squeeze in a massage. Okay. I get them so rarely, but I always feel so damn good afterwards. You know, you never realize how how tense your muscles are until you get like a deep tissue massage or something like that. You just feel like jelly, but also incredibly loose. Yeah, these, these robots certainly fight, I tell you what. Almost a hundred damage a pop. Yeah they uh they are not fun they are not fucking around. Let's uh let's do a chomp. Let's do a low kick and let's do a frost. Easy! Second A, fan the flames. Ooh. Ruby spear. Interesting. Hold on. I guess some equipment. Hmm. Ah! 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 Streamer abuse. Ah, thank you. Thank you for the mana, Iris. It is never needed, but always appreciated. Bewitching Bandit. Boost the effect of HP empty healing spells used on the wearer. Uh, we are giving that to Claire because she gets beat up way too much. 
Holy shit, that ruby spear is a hell of a weapon. Fuck yeah. We'll have to come back and back here with Jody. Now, the number of places that is like, well, we need Jody to get through here is starting to uh, accumulate. Malcontent mummy appears. Wow, um, rude. Okay, they're just getting home. They're just coming home from the mall. Okay, they were at Hot Topic. They got a new hoodie. They got a sword from the very helpful uh, mall ninja place. Uh, it's a very good deal, okay? It's a very, uh, antique sword. Even got their name engraved on the blade, okay? No need to be rude. Oh, I need to heal Mel- I need to heal Claire. I forgot to do that. Whoopsie! The high tops? Uh, our, our high tops the shoe. I don't, I don't have any fashion sense. Ah. You know, for the longest time, performs pop and lock. Nice. For the longest time, I basically only got shoes, you know, very, very white boy mix mayonnaise fucking average person walmart pay less shoes whatever the fuck um but i was trying to get some decent loafers and i ended up stumbling across i think it was called like near mirman it was like a european place um so they ended up being import and like the sizing was really really fucking precise um so i was kind of worried you know ordering online um, with these weird measurements, and they were a lot pricier than my, like, 20 to $50 shoes, but holy fuck, now I understand why people gush about, like, shoes that feel good, because, uh, I, I look for almost any excuse to wear those, wear those shoes. They just feel so good. Left jab, right jab. Frost. The only downside, I guess, is that uh, I have to use a shoehorn to get them on because the, the, the measurements are that tight. So if I ever take them off, like I'm, I'm worried I'll, I'll damage the back trying to get them back on. Cool beans. All right. Uh, no one needs healing this time, but what is that new spell you got? Magic Missile! Ooh, we finally have an AoE attack for Claire. Fuck yes. What was Fan the Flames? Heavy damage to burned enemies. Good, good. Q and W doesn't do any- oh. Hold on. There we go. I just realized her, her class is punk. Nice. I like it. I like it. I also love Allison's, like, lick of hair. But I'm, I'm a fan of the Pompadour, so that shouldn't be a surprise. Oop. No shit. Super fighting robot and a tumbleweed mage? Quick, get the tumbleweed mage! It can't be left to tumble. They're a menace to society. No, it survived. Well, that's unfortunate. I think status effects can't bring them below that last bit of HP, so that kind of sucks. Ooh, it throws it. Nice. Uh, what was second day? Okay, bigger healing. 
Um, let's just do a normal heal. Uh, I think it was left jab for the robots. Oh, hold on. We need to give Claire some mana. Yikes! Let's see if we can freeze this other one so we can uh, get some star power. Nice. Um. We'll guard, we'll guard. Hell yeah. Still first aid. Guard, guard. Nice. Nothing like a little bit of cheese to go with my minion battles. Is that? I just heard a dial up for a second. What is that battle music? You can't slip that past me. I'm a third generation IT person. Oh, I think this monster den is literally just full of monsters. I think this is literally just an area to farm for XP. So let's oh, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh god. Wait, super flying robot? Alright, that's a new robot. We have to kill it. Alright, so kiss Allison. We will let's take out the ground bots first. They're a known known factor in this situation. Oh shit, they're draining MP and shooting lasers? Oh, this isn't so great. Alright, we'll kill one. Work on the other. I feel like Jody, our missing party member, is gonna have stuff that, like, defend ally sort of things, which is. If so, be very helpful insofar as keeping Claire alive. Because Claire seems to dislike having health. Uh, she just loves losing health. She's like, HP, not me! See? See? Look at this shit! I gotta keep her alive! Just because you're our magic user, Claire, doesn't mean you should be getting... I'm, I'm not your pocket healer, okay? I'm Allison's pocket healer. You are not an adorable badass Denoy. You are a badass bovine. Uh... Blaster. Ma I tried- I tried- I tried to keep the alliteration going with the magic, and it just- I- I dropped the ball. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> I'm just getting started. We're certainly getting a lot of scrap metal. I wonder if we can use it to craft anything. Ah, stretch and hydrate. Alright, alright. Oh, gotta stretch the hamstrings again because I like stretching hamstrings. Oh, and then I'll get that, get that agua. Thank you, Global, for participating in the Streamer Tamagotchi Interactive Zone. That's bullshit. They can move while I'm in dial while I'm reading this sign. That's just Man, there's just no No honor amongst enemies these days. Twenty-six gold. Well, that's kinda weird. Oh no, they dished out a sick burn. Holy fuck. Are all my teammates? Under status effects? Seems like it. Poison, blindness, confusion, and stone. Alright, so none of these apply. Noted. Um. 
I want to get rid of the Tumbleweed first. Wow, Claire is... She's got a... That was an ice-cold burn, because she's burning and frozen. That's... Great, I guess. Good for her. Oh, not right jab. Right jab's not the right choice. What about left jab? Eh, neutral. But now we can finish her off. Fuck yeah. What do we got down here? Hmm. Hmm. Interdasting. Ah! Oh, if they come into contact with... I need to move my glasses down a little bit. Nanobots? Funky artifact first. At least the nanobots don't hit as hard as uh, the others. Nope, not what I meant to do. Easy. Damn. All right, they may not hit as much, but they uh, the attacks pile up. Let's see if magic missile takes them on out. Hell yeah! Good job, Claire. Mega ether. Holy shit. A car? Huh. There's no way this has been here as long as all this rusty junk. Looks brand new. Can I also just take a moment to add that it looks sick as hell? I wonder who it belongs to. Ah! Thank you for the 100 mana, Iris. <laughs> You're a gem. It is a very sick car, though. Well, not knowing how much money we make. I'm sure it's not Jody's. Man, those those enemies be schmoovin' around. Oh, chest. Spike gauntlet. Oh. Is that a weapon? Oh, it is. Well, oh well. Super flying robots. About to be the super dying robot in a minute, am I right? I am still incapable of breathing liquids, uh, so uh, you know, always, always good to check now and then. You know, may, maybe maybe things have changed while you weren't paying attention. Fucking MP drains. Uh, let me paladin gift myself, and then we smack it. <laughs> yeah, you just, you just take a drink of something and then it just goes down the wrong pipe. <laughs> I do kind of wish I got a chance to use star power uh, before battle ended, like at the at the XP screen, just so you know, just because like Paladin's gift and stuff were I don't want to waste them. 
over there coughing too. <laughs> oh hell. Is this a cowboy bat? Oh hey, another beast. Huh. Now wandering the dust bowl, eh? We're trying to find someone, actually. Yeah, you seen our friend Jody? She's big, strong, tall, and uh big? She's a tiger. She's probably wearing armor. Ah, oh, I can work with that. Yeah, I saw someone matching that description head and least from here. Thank you so much, kind stranger. It's Jack. And I'm sure we'll see each other around. Dun dun dun! Tombstone Drone. Does it have... Does it have little, like, robot feet on the front and back? <laughs> it makes... <laughs> it makes me think of the, uh... The, uh, uh, uh... In Portal 2, when Wheatley gets control of the facility, the, uh, the kind of scrungly little, uh, uh, boxes that try on... that he makes to try and solve, uh, puzzles automatically. <laughs> it, kind of, it kind of makes me think of one of those. build star power. None of these the star power. Let's just use first aid. And we will mm, go for a low kick over here and scorch again from Claire. Hell yeah! Calculated. Alright, we will get player mana. We will stab that, and let's start up. I might actually, you know, it's probably weak to cold. Oh, it's weak to fire. Interesting. Most of the robots have been weak to cold. That's certainly out of left field. Uh, high kick? Huh. Well, still normal damage. Certainly building up a repertoire of scrap metal. I wonder if it's just cell fodder? Magical girl spellbook? Oh she is. Lovely aura, magic aura, and resilient aura. Um what do those do though? Hold on. Hmm. So... Honestly, I'm... kind of want to see if I can give this to Claire. Because Claire generates a lot of star power that I generally am not using. And so, some of that stuff using star power uh, is very good. Also, I know the healing would be even better on Melody, but I would like to have a second source of healing, just in case Melody, like, either for cutscene reasons or whatever, uh, gets knocked out of commission. Actually, what if I just go beast mode on the funky artifact out the gate? Wow, fucking nanobot bully swarm. Leave Melody alone, jeez. Bloody hell. I'm glad Claire managed to live. Jeez. We're gonna second aid you. And 
and you know, I, I know I talked about giving her the auras, but like, in this case, just AoE them away. Boom. Get rid of all those tiny sentient D4s. Get out of here. Alright. I need to hit the blue switch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me, give me, give me the robot. All right, okay. Okay, buddy. Buddy, old pal, old friend. I know what's going on here. Ah, 60 MP in exchange for star power. I see. Oh shit, actually... Hmm... The fact that this... Mm, maybe I will switch it to Melody. I did like having some combat ability on Melody, just for turns where everyone's popped off. Maybe, maybe it would be better if I could put it on her. Uh, yeah, heal yourself. Heal your- treat yourself, go! Mmm, I think I might survive. Shit, it did. Alright, um... Uh, need to heal. Finish that off. Start taking out the flying robots. Fall to the ground? Uh, hmm. Huh. Hell yeah. I mean, just save all mana and just beat it to death. Alright. Blue. And go back for the. Red. Boop. Stationary enemy, all right. Eh, not too bad. We, 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 can, we can take care of some mummies and a couple flying D4s. As long as the mummy doesn't lead out any Sick burns, I think we'll be fine. Heal up Allison, slap them around, and actually, we can attack these. Might save us a couple swings. Ooh, rude. Paladin's gift to self. Alright, let's attack the flying robot. And freeze it. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, so Melody can finish that off. The flying robot can be finished off by Claire and Allison. And uh, at the cost of a little bit of more damage, uh, I think we saved the round. Or we would have if Melody hadn't missed. You know, Melody, that's that's fair. You're uh, you're not really combat. You're you're more of a healer. Let's go ahead and top everyone off.
Oh hey, a save point. This isn't ominous at all. We're definitely not about to run into a boss of some kind. This does not look like a boss arena at all. Another robot. This one seems to just be minding its own business instead of trying to kill us, though. Do you think it could be friendly? I doubt it. And I also don't want to bully some random robot if this one's harmless. We also tried talking to that bird, and that didn't really work out. Yeah, but we're supposed to be the good guys. We don't just... We don't jump random strangers. Plus, maybe this one's seen Jody. True, but still... Oh no, it's Windman! Um, sorry to bother you. Have you seen a tiger around here by any chance? Oh, it's not Windman. It's it's Eyeball Man. Noted. Uh, hello there? Nick. Pardon? Is your voice processor glitching? Nick. Dead? Like, definitely? You've definitely seen a tiger? Mel... I think now is time the time to run. Destroy! Abominable automaton has appeared. Destroy all the animals! Destroy! Alright, let's see if we can mug anything from this uh, tin can. Ah, we got some scrap metal. Oh, he has got HP. I am going to regret not putting the uh, aura on Melody. Noted. <clears throat> okay. Go with second aid. Um, attack. Let's actually attack. Boost. Oof. Wait, grab the boulder. Um. Let's just go with Frost on the boulder. Frost on the robot. We'll take it. Alright, I think next turn I need to do Kiss on Allison to refresh it. Probably gonna have Claire do the AoE heal because... Everyone is kind of took a little bit of damage off that. Ooh, that is pretty damn good. Aha! High kick was his weakness. That's not too bad. I feel like we've definitely not um, over leveled. So the fight seems to be staying like normal challenge range sort of thing, which is nice. It also means we don't have to <clears throat> go off and grind for a while, unlike some games might make you do <clears throat> Final Fantasy. Alright, we got him on the ropes. He's almost down. There's a few more high kicks. And ice cubes. Freeze the ground. He's top heavy. Fuck yeah. Ooh, everyone levels up. A thousand gold. Nice. Uh, it's still moving. Crap, even after all that? How do we take this thing down? What do we do? Run? Hold on. Who's that up there? Jody! Claire? 
What are you three doing all the way out here? We should be asking you that. Can we catch up after this robot is dealt with? Huh? Oh, sure thing. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Blue screens. <laughs> now, where were we? Jody, I've never been so happy to see you in my entire life. I can see that. How come you were looking for me, though? Jody, you've been Mia for 24 hours. God, has it really been that long? I'm so sorry. I probably made everyone worry sick about me, huh? We also found your wallet. Oh, I must have dropped it during a scuffle. Thanks for that. So how come you skipped town, Jody? You on the lam? Or maybe trouble in paradise with Faith? What? No, it's nothing like that. I know. I just haven't gotten a chance to tease you since yesterday. Faith told us you were investigating some monster activity and never came home? She sent us out to find you. Yeah, I tried texting Faith so she'd know I was safe, but I guess it never went through. It's not just you. There's some sort of electromagnetic disturbance messing with phones and internet back in Greenridge. Wait, really? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, we uh, have a lot of catching up to do. Alright, we take a short rest. Uh, spell slots recovered. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. We assume there's a connection between Jabba's and the monsters you saw. Do you have any leads? Yes, actually. I found a suspicious cloaked figure up here. I couldn't see their face, but there's a chance it was Jabba's. We could definitely ask around and see if anyone knows anything about Jabba's once we've taken her home, though. Her? Her who? Glyph, the robot you're fighting. Glyph. That gizmo your friends told me to use work. You feeling better? Oh, hello there. Yes, thank you so much for rebooting me. I'm really sorry about my behavior just then. I wasn't myself. Someone reprogrammed me to hunt down any beast folk who entered the desert. Oh, um, it's okay. We're glad you're feeling better. Yeah, nice to meet you properly, Glyph. Okay, question. Glyph, are all of the robots out here normally friendly? Sadly, no. We always have a lot of feral robots around these parts. And something seems to be agitating them this week, too. But yeah, my friends and I are kind of special, actually. Speaking of which, I should head home. Good idea. Let's head back to Mumford to regroup. I can take the lead if you three want. Actually, Mel's been taking the lead for us. She's doing pretty great, too. Huh? Oh, yeah, I don't mind staying in the lead. I mean, if that's not a problem. No, not at all. I can be our rear guard. Seems like that training's really paying off for you, Melody. Let's head back to Mumford, then. It's directly north of here. Jody has joined the party as a fourth wheel. Party is now a, a car. Ready to go. Oh, hold on. Check equipment. Um, so let's take Magical Girl Law, give it to Melody, um, Jody, Iron Gauntlet, uh, Spiked Gauntlet, please, the Inner Beast, because why not? Uh, we do need a hat for you, so make a note, hat for the cat, the cat needs a hat. So what do we do about this spike bit? Allow me. Faith taught me a barrier spell, good for covering up traps like this. God, you have no idea how much we missed you, Jody. Great, and also I need to backtrack to all those places that uh we didn't have Jody for. Um was it straight north? Whoop, I guess we forgot to check here. Oh boy, a treasure chest. I'm starting to see why so many people want to become adventurers. You'd think the excitement of opening chests would fade over time, but nope. Still great. Huh? It's not opening. In before Mimic. Weird, it doesn't look locked. Oh wow, it's used shut. This chest must have been out in the sun for a really long time. 
think I know one way to open it, though. <laughs> We're just gonna beat this chest up. <laughs> oh, is it over? <laughs> Eclipse Blade? Oh, damn. What? No way! This is an Eclipse Blade. It's probably super enchanted from being forged during an Eclipse or something. I mean, yeah, there are tons of stories about Eclipse weapons just because there are so many of them. Whenever an Eclipse rolls around, blacksmiths always go into overdrive and forge a ton of weapons, hoping they'll have some kind of Eclipse magic. Of course, when every smith on Reverie has that same idea, odds are at least one weapon's gonna turn out good regardless of the Eclipse. It's just a marketing stunt. Dang. Well, I guess you learned a thing or two in your time as a blacksmith, huh? If he makes you feel any better, Allison, there's a second weapon in the chest. Scrap hammer! Okay, now this thing definitely looks like junk. Actually, this one looks really reliable. It's rusty, sure, but it seems sturdy. This is a great find. Well, I guess we've all learned a very important lesson about garbage today. <laughs> it's the actual stats. Damn. Damn! Even better than our spear! Fuck yeah! Time to hammer some nails! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Kasara! I hope you are having a phantasmagasmical, phantasmagormical Monday evening. We are just doing some slar PG today. We're on Act 2. Not sure how much Act 2 is left. This is it. I guess they locked the game because of my, um, uh, Violent Rampage. I'm sure everyone will be happy to see you. Let me just try to get their attention. Hey guys, it's me Glyph. I'm back to normal. Can you open the front gate? There we are. Let's head on in. Playing lesbian game? Yeah. I am a firm believer that games are games. Uh, so even if it's very sapphic, uh, as, as someone who would describe themselves as pretty cis, het, white bread, uh, I still think this is a great game to play. It's very pretty, it's got good humor, and the characters are fun. Oh, hold on a second. They're in the middle of something. Ooh, it's a showdown. Uh, yeah, that's three wins in a row. There, I'll get you tomorrow. Just you wait. I love this place already. Wait, are they? Wait, are the people here undead? Huh? Oh yeah, I guess I forgot to mention that. A new reanimation is possible, but I've never met an undead before. Don't worry, everyone here is really nice. You'll get along great. Cliff, you're back. Whoa, hold on. Did you leave the intruders here? Hey, that's one of the mummies who's been giving us trouble. One of the mummy- There's only one of me. Wait, that was you every time? Uh, yeah? You're not the only ones who can use healing potions, you know. Thanks for the re recent description, Kiki. It's never needed, but always appreciated. And I know I had I have a lot of fun with the emotes, so I hope y'all do as well. <laughs> we kind of assumed you were just a lot of different mummies with a strict desk code. You literally could have asked me at any point. You had a big knife. 
Okay, let's all be civil. I'm sure this has been a stressful couple of days for all of us. Yes, we're all friends here. No need for violence. Newbie's friends. Say hello to Neff. She helps keep the peace around here. Um, hello? Yeah, we've met. I kept trying to kick their asses. Trying and failing. We don't get a lot of visitors around here, but some of the new arrivals this week seem to be siphoning the mana from our power grid. Which we, you know, kind of need in order to live. We run on mana. I figured you were just more goons working for the same people. Well, you know what they say about assumptions. Again, you assumed I was like 10 different identical mummies. So you're not one to talk, Fluffy. There's, there's trouble brewing on the surface, too. And we're here investigating it. My friends and I are looking for a guy named Jadis. I'm willing to bet that whatever's going on here, he's involved. Neff, I don't believe you've met Jody here. She worked together with our friends to fix me. Wait, really? Yes, and her friends here help too. Our little town is in their debt. Well, if you helped Cliff, I guess you can't be that bad. No hard feelings? Yeah, I guess. I'm keeping my eye on you, though. Cause any trouble, and I won't go so easy on you. Anyway, you four are here to deal with the guys who showed up the other day acting like they own the place. I've got some leads. Right. Well, they've had a long journey, and it'll be sundown before long. Please, make yourselves at home. In the morning, I'm sure you and Neff can come up with a great plan to deal with the mysterious intruders. All right. Um, and you know what? I haven't I haven't tested this in a, in a while, so I want to I want to see if it's still working right and if anything's broken. So if y'all don't know Kasara, they're a cool little person. Uh, they do some art. Uh, oh no! Why didn't the clip? Oh, you know what? I think I accidentally deleted... No, no, it should have switched to that scene. All right, well, I do know something I need to fix. Because uh, that should have that should have put a clip over the game area. Oh, you know what? That's probably why. Because I have the game screen on a higher layer than the clip, clip thing. <laughs> yep, that'll explain it. But yeah, Kassara's good people. Um, and they're they're pretty fun to hang out with. Uh, they do play Fortnite, I suppose that that is a potential hazard warning, you know. Uh... <laughs> uh, can I sell all those gears I've been picking up? Scrap metal. Um... Find a use for these in battle with the right equipment. Well, shit. Now I can't sell them. Thief's Dagger. Leave the enemy poison. Cowgirl hat. Be the cowgirl. Nice. Genuine snake oil bottle. Please, please don't... Please don't oil... Like... Harvest the oil from snakes? We need that. <laughs> so I'm thinking we get a mana saver for Claire. I think we get the right back at ya for Jody and Allison. And then we can get Jody a cowgirl hat, because that sounds great. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's the play here. No! You get the you're wearing the flower crown. Because Me Melody definitely made it for you. Get the right back at ya. And... Oh, right, the Bewitched Bandage. 
you know what? No, no, yeah, we need the Bewitched Bandage, because Claire likes to die. We'll give you Mana Saber. Alright. Um, what spells you got? Ooh. Chronomancer? Interesting. Bubble, Drizzle, Multi-Bubble, and Geyser. Alchemist. Spellblade. Hmm. Let's get Spellblade and put it on Jody. You know what? I have plenty of money. Let's buy like one of everything. We can we can we can fiddle we can fiddle fart around. Assuming that does what I think it does. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So we can view allies and stuff. Fuck shit up. Um Apologize to the enemy, undoing the effects of taunt. Okay, yeah, so she she she's the she's the tank. Cool, 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 cool. Giving her kind of support stuff is fine and dandy. Who doesn't have a spell book? Oh that's right, Allison doesn't do magic. Uh let's let's do some crow. Claire, Claire would probably dabble in Chronomancy on, on a lark as a whim. Ooh, who's this person? This person looks cool. I'm referred to as Doc. Are you in need of healing? Oh, wow. It's nice to meet a fellow healer. Ah, my apologies. It would appear you are still alive in the traditional sense. My magic would be of no use to you. My abilities are more necromantic in nature. Ah, as you can imagine, this is quite the useful set of skills to have in a town populated by the undead. Different people have different needs, I suppose. Precisely. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like I always said, necromancers are just late doctors. Huh? Eh? 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 <laughs> hey, Jack. Ah, I see you three have become a party of four. You know my friends? And I'd like to think we're good acquaintances. Maybe I even taught him a thing or two. But it's all a day's worry for this wandering gunman. Need something else? Hmm. Oh. Thank you again for rescuing me. Now I can get back to my mayoral duties. Wait, you're the mayor here? Why didn't this come up sooner? Oh, I guess I just forgot. It's been an eventful week here in the Wasteland, what with all the mysterious visitors and me getting brainwashed and all. But yes, I am this week's Mayor of Mumford. I was so excited when it got to be my turn to be Mayor on the Chore Wheel. That, uh, sounds like an interesting electoral system you've got there. Well, there isn't really much for the Mayor to do in a town like Mumford. Things kind of run themselves. But if I'm needed, I'm sure to give it 110%. Yes! It's the, it's the lesbian wiggly. There, there's a full set of pride wigglies, and I have them on the BTTV. I think um, what I want, what I need to do is download all of them, because it's, it's hosted as a local file. I think I need to get them all locally and then find a way to have it cycle through them. Um, I think Slug does something like that with his Wiggly, um, and it looks really clean, so he, he probably has, like, the OG files, um, and I'm getting them, like, third hand, but, you know, still, still a shtick that I want to do, because Wiggly's, Wiggly's is also one of my favorite animated emotes. Uh, Alright, um, ads are about to stab, uh... So let me at least do the spiel, because I don't think I've done it yet. Um, if you have Twitch Prime, um, remember to use it every month, whether here or elsewhere, I don't care, uh, because 
by doing so, you're basically stealing from Bezos. And that's the most ethical theft, theft you can do. So have solidarity and use your Twitch Prime. <laughs> if you're not snug scribed, um, I will see you in a few minutes. Howdy, travelers! Name Stretch! We saw that little show you put on with the other cowboys earlier, don't you know? You did? Well, that's just a little play game my best buddy Squash and I like to play past the time. A game that involves shooting each other? Yeah. Don't you worry, though. We only fire blanks. It's perfectly safe. I see. The question is, is where the mysterious strangers are. Oh. Wow. Ah, this is bumpy. Hold on, let me see if my quest pointing me the right way. I think I got turned around. Oh, rest at the end and then charge forward. All right. I am a potato. 